a very good evening to you. With the end of the legislative session now in sight, Arkansas lawmakers are at odds over Senate Bill 298, the so-called Arkansas Sovereignty Act. The bill was vetoed by Governor Asa Hutchinson on Friday, but this afternoon the Senate voted to override it. Channel 7 Shelby Rose has the heated debate for us tonight. Shelby? Well, Chris and Beth, the Arkansas Sovereignty Act would essentially prohibit the state's law enforcement from enforcing any past or future federal gun control regulations. However, some in the Senate chamber today say it could have some big consequences, like jeopardizing the federal firearms critical criminal cases that are currently in the court system, as well as the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission potentially losing $18 million or 20% of their budget. So before the vote to override this veto is taken, the co-sponsor of the bill, Senator Gary Stubblefield, says he has already worked with former U.S. Attorney Cody Highland to draft a new bill with those changes. But the session ends tomorrow, so some senators have confidence that these changes will be made. Others certainly do not. Because if we override the veto and this bill goes into effect the way it sits, then it's going to, it'll be sitting there and it will come law in these circumstances that I'm talking about with these potential criminals is going to come into play. This is all just is beyond me why we're even in this situation because of what's transpired today. Honestly, I, I, believe, I believe in the process. I believe that we are in a, in a really good spot to be able to continue with this bill and to get it fixed. However, let me say this, if we don't override the veto, I think nothing happens. And, and if there is one issue that I've heard from my constituents coming in is protect me from what's coming from D.C. But this veto override isn't solidified yet. Now that it has passed through the Senate, SB 298 will head over to the House for consideration. Beth? Okay, Shelby Rose tonight. Shelby, thank you. The House of Representatives is expected to take up the issue tomorrow morning.